around for very long. No, just gave us a taste of what December should be like. This time of year, we should be in the upper 40s and low 50s. That's exactly what we did this afternoon. It just felt colder overall because we've been in the 70s for the foreseeable future ever since uh, we had uh, since Thanksgiving we're in the 70s so it's been a while since we've had a nice cool down and that north wind too made it feel like five to ten degrees colder than whatever your thermometer basically said throughout the day but tomorrow those winds are going to come out of the south and increase and throughout the rest of the week it's going to be kind of breezy we're not going to notice a huge jump in temperatures yet tomorrow that wind change really takes place later into the afternoon. We don't have enough time with it. But starting on Wednesday, we're really going to watch the temperatures start to rise the rest of the week and maybe 70s by the end of the week, maybe even 70s by Thursday in the River Valley. So it's going to be a breezy week. In order to get temperature fluctuations like this, you've got to have some breezy conditions and we'll have those. Tonight, we'll also have some very cool evenings across Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. We're now dipping in the 30s. We'll probably be below freezing here in the next two to three hours. We'll be below freezing closer to midnight, I think, in the River Valley, but most of us should be waking up in some mid to upper 20s tomorrow morning. It's going to be a chilly start for your Tuesday. Meteorologist Tyler Moore will have the latest thermometer readings out there across Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. We'll warm up into the afternoon. We'll get a decent amount of sun, but that south wind starts to slowly come back. It's not going to be roaring in a big way, but just enough to try to help keep temperatures near the 50 degree mark, plus or minus a couple degrees. We'll also won't have that complete blue sky like we had today. It was beautiful, wasn't it? But a couple more clouds will start to come in for the afternoon. Right now we've got those clear skies. You look back towards the north and west, more clouds across northern Oklahoma and much of Kansas. Some of those will start to be shared with Arkansas tomorrow. Now we're not gonna go overcast, but we'll have a couple more clouds there off in the distance. That cold front that gave us the thunderstorms last night, that continues to press eastbound. In northwest Arkansas, we picked up about a half inch of rain. We need two or three. It's kind of a drop in the bucket. In the River Valley, we've only got about a tenth of an inch. The rain bands really shrunk as they pushed the River Valley. We still got some good lightning and rumbles of thunder and some wind, but the rain itself was pretty small, just a tenth of an inch. And in the River Valley, we need closer to three or four inches of rain. We're starting to get those drought conditions to come back. Later this week, we have more rain chances thanks to the storm system back off towards the west, getting some rain maybe starting on Thursday. Until then, we're dry and we're just trying to warm up our temperatures. We'll hit the upper 40s tomorrow in northwest Arkansas and some low 50s in the River Valley. Some of those clouds coming in from Kansas. I think they'll really be here for the afternoon. Otherwise, things are quiet for the next couple of days. We're just trying to rebound with some of our temperatures. Overnight tonight, it will be chilly. We'll be waking up in those 20s and then we'll warm up throughout the day tomorrow and then warming up throughout the rest of the week. Look at that temperature climb all the way through Friday, trying to head back to the 70s. Another strong cold front, like the one we just had last night, will come in for this weekend, I think Friday night and early Saturday morning. Right now, Darren, it looks like, here's what's new, it looks like we should be dry for the weekend, but we will just be a lot cooler. Oh, and, and again, with what we had last night, yeah. That big of a drop, there is a good chance we could see some lightning, thunder, maybe a squall line. I mean, that's still a, For sure. a few days off, but it's yeah. still there. I mean, sometimes we get most of our severe weather in the winter yeah. sometimes with because well, the fronts like these. Like that. Yeah. yeah. All right, Matt, thanks. Coming up, we have